Man, so news broke that TikTok overtakes YouTube for average watch time in the U.S. and U.K. Now, I know over the years, uh, YouTube is kind of phased from being just explicitly like a fun entertainment platform to more so like educational as well as entertainment. Um, TikTok is very much so still a lot of entertainment, some education content, but I feel like that's going to increase as the years pass. Um, but man, like what, what statement does this make? What, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, so the overall use, this is average watch time per user. That's the metric guys. Mm -hmm. So YouTube still has about 2 billion monthly users. TikTok has about 700 million. Uh, so YouTube is still three times bigger in that respect. Mm -hmm. Uh, so YouTube still has far more users than TikTok does. But the uh, the people who are on TikTok um, seem to be that that initial addictive phase. You know, yeah. when you have like a new app, kind of yeah. like when people talk about Clubhouse. How mm -hmm. whenever they first got on Clubhouse, like they would spend hours and hours and yeah. hours on Clubhouse networking. Um, <laughs> that that's the effect. I I mean, yeah, a lot of people are networking on there, yeah. but. <laughs> That's the effect I, I see of this is TikTok is still gaining, you know, a lot of new users. And whenever you first get on that app, mm -hmm. you spend more time on it. That might be one of the reasons why uh, it might be the format yeah. of TikTok that makes people stay on it longer. That whole scrolling thing. Yeah. Um, whereas YouTube, YouTube videos are longer. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's, that would be interesting to psychologically study actually. Yeah. Why is it that they have the longer videos, but the, the average watch time per user on TikTok is still higher. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but overall I'd say TikTok was not able to like be overtaken by Instagram, uh, as much as like a, a Snapchat was, uh, this is I mean, it, it might just be that they had like a bigger wave behind them. Like it was, it was COVID and like a lot of people were just using their phone more often. Um, you know, people use their phone a lot, but like they had an extra pandemic to help people use their phone even more. Um, that, there's a lot of factors why TikTok might be more successful than Snapchat. They have monetization a lot quicker, uh, which means that they have their ad network up. It's not as good as like a YouTube or a Facebook uh, like ads yet. Uh, and then people do have concerns about like the uh, the Chinese government collecting data off of them. Um, actually, I know I won't say his name, but like one of my friends who does work in government, <laughs> uh, it was like a thing where you, you, you had to have a certain level of caution about signing up for, for TikTok. So that, that's not like a, you know, scare tactic for anybody. I'm not saying like they're yeah. stealing your data or whatever, but <laughs> um, like things work differently right. in, in China than they do in the United States. So um, I'd, I'd say that TikTok is still fine to use. Um, don't, don't go panic if you, if you ask me. Right. Uh, but there's stories coming from China this past week. We didn't talk about any of them this week because I don't feel like it. <laughs> uh, but definitely run their society a little differently. Right. Uh, so that's that's the take on TikTok. Um, why why people are using them more and more. Uh, you guys can check out our TikTok influencer promo on omarmc.com. Uh, it is we, we typically say like spend like. 10% ish of your budget just to test it out, see if it works. Right. You can have a big pop on there. Um, but other than that, YouTube is a more steady route to spend your ad revenue, uh, your, your ad budget. Facebook is a more steady route to spend your ad budget. Even Spotify right now is a more steady route to spend your ad budget. So yeah. that's what we recommend for people. That's good. Sounds good.